Okay, let us see what this reaction says. So question says, adjacent to reaction of this molecule, this molecule contains two leaving group, BR, BR, with NaOH gives this product, that is the an aldehyde, this aldehyde PHCHO is also called benzaldehyde. So this is a aldehyde. This says, why not this gives this product? So question is asking, why not this give this? It's very simple. If OH minus attack on this carbon leaves bromine, we will add 1 OH. Further OH minus can attack and can leave OH. So you can add another OH. So you will add two OH groups. So question is asking, why not I am getting this product? Why not I am getting uh, this product? I am getting this product. Why? So you have to explain. So let us take 10 seconds. Basically, if you remember something like this, one carbon containing two OH OH group is not a stable. Same kind of argument you can give. So let us wait for 10 seconds. So you, you, you first add one OH and then see what will happen. Okay, let us see the solution. So you see, if this molecule first OH minus attacks, this is general uh, SN2 reaction, OH minus attacks on this carbon, this leaves. So we will have one product, H is here, PH is here. So H, PH, BR is here and OH is here. Now in the same time, this molecule as soon as formed, OH minus will take H plus from here because OH and once this H plus is gone, oxygen will have a negative charge. There is a bond and this negative charge goes here and this BR goes out. So this negative charge basically pushes this BR. So if this pushes this BR, I will have a double bond between C and O. So there is a double bond between C and O and I have a H, PH. So I will get PH, CHO. That is the benzyl dehyde. You can see SN2 substitution gives unstable bromo alcohol. So this is a bromo and alcohol. Both product is the both group is there bromine and alcohol. alcohol. So this is a bromo alcohol intermediate. So this intermediate is unstable. So you can say this is a unstable intermediate. So this gives you a unstable intermediate. Now this is unstable intermediate basically pushes negative charge, pushes this bromine and forms a benzaldehyde. So you see SN2 substitution gives unstable bromo alcohol intermediate which loses Br- minus easily to give a benzaldehyde. Even if you, you have a suggested another mechanism of something like this, you see you have initially Br, here you have Br you have pH and then you have H. So what you have done is, you may have done something like this pH C H and then add OH then add OH. So you remove both bromine these are the good leaving group and add OH OH and you say this carbon containing two good leaving group OH OH is good leaving group so what we'll do is OH minus basically take H plus from here and this goes here and this is off. So you will have PH CH O in this case also you will get the benzaldehyde. But the first mechanism is more general one. In this case it seems OH is of course this is acting as a one molecule of OH minus acting as a base. So I have one molecule of OH minus is used so I have to basically 1 OH minus is used. So I have to uh, generate 1 OH minus. So I can generate OH minus if I kick off this OH. But this mechanism is more general or this is the process that is happening. Because as soon as this intermediate is formed, there is no time to attack OH minus to this BR to replace this BR. As soon as this intermediate is formed, this O minus kicks off this BR. So there is no point of time to add the second uh, OH, so there is no time. So the right mechanism is this one. Even if you have, if you see this product sometime, you have to have removed H2O, so H, OH. So whenever you have a uh, two leaving group on the same carbon, something like this, BROH. In this case also, you have to remove BR. 
you have if you have some more two good leaving group on same carbon one leaving group another leaving group r1 r2 then that case also you have to remove one leaving group you have to remove one leaving group in such a way you are removing one a uh, good molecule like in this case you are removing hbr in this case you are removing uh, h2o in this case you are removing h2o in some cases you may remove n2 so this is the point that you have to remember uh, that okay let us do one more problem related to so this is a small problem 